Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back at let's take a look at and this time we are taking a look at Robin Hood Sherwood Builders demo version. So this is an interesting game set in the world of Robin Hood where you take control of Robin Hood himself and build your camp. You do some quests, some combat, some exploring, some survival. Now the best way to experience this all is by playing itself so without any without any further ado let's play right so let's start a new game haven't played this anyhow so this is completely new for us black henry's ruthlessness knows no end the former commander of the armies of the fallen king richard the lionheart now sheds blood in the name of paying taxes owed to king john the stigma of suffering hangs over an oppressed people the evil and destruction sown by henry is compounded by the rule of the murderous sheriff of nottingham together they plan another plot to end the life of the last of the Loxley family, Robin. Alright, oh, hello and welcome. This is the game. This is me, Robin Hood. Let's take a look. Can we gather something already? Because I want rocks. Wood. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I am wondering how you are still in one piece. Because if you are fully decayed, without any flesh, anything holding you together, this would fall apart. But hey, it's a game. Let's go down. So I um, set my keys to the Belgium Point Azerty keyboard. I do that every time. So that's a possibility if you are wondering if you use an Azerty. So welcome at our little village and I see a bunch of things flashing so pick a point meat those who follow the channel know that I'm a, uh, quite a looter and a hoarder I like to run around and pick up as many things as I can so like this stones apparently I can't pick up those stones but ooh more stones I hope there isn't a really uh, a carry weight because I will reach that carry weight very, very quickly then. So there is a story or a quest line to follow. But as you can see, don't have to. open loot oh hello there so we found salt so click and drag is the way and there is a carry weight of 100 so we must be careful pick up apples Ooh, and more loot wood eat cheese quite a lot of food anything else no Let's open up and say hello. Do you have anything for for me? For the camp? It's in the best interest of everybody to give it to me. Yeah, I would love uh, a button that says Cool. Because why the hell should I want only one thing? Right. I'm not looting from my own people. I'm just collecting everything to put in one box so that the people have food. Waterfall? Ooh, how nice. We have a waterfall in the village. Now, oh, ooh, stones. More stones. I'm sure we are going to need those stones, so let's collect them. 
And I know we have an appointment with Friar Tuck. Now, how can you see that? With activating the G uh, keyboard key, you get the journal, and in which they say talk to Tuck. So I think it's Friar Tuck. We have a, a skill tree. So, hooray. We are level 1, available skill points too, so we can choose two things. Health, maximum weight, yeah, we are hoarder, strained, and a blow of luck, critical damage. Now, woodcutter, mining, we are going to do all those things. So let's go for more carrying capacity and woodcutting to begin with. Oh, we can't visit that, so let's continue. Rocks. Something to collect? No. I think they forgot to finish this side up. Right, even more stones. Pick up the stones. Friar Tuck, where are you? Oh, on this side, isn't it? There is Friar Tuck. So let's have a word with Brother Tuck. What a sight for sore eyes. Praised be the day, for our good friend Robin is finally back. Yes. And just as I had feared, he looks absolutely horrendous. By Mary, Robin, did you lose a fight to a bear? What trouble did you get into this time? Don't even ask, and it's not like you would really believe in my misadventures anyway. Don't even ask, and it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures. Robin anymore. has a voice. Well, you are a master of cock and bull stories after all, and yet I do notice you are quite parched and exhausted. Why don't you go and have a snack and rest in your hut for now? Do not fret or worry about anything else at the moment. There is no work that cannot wait until tomorrow dawn. Alright, so this is the tutorial. Equipping uh, material so from our inventory. Press I, yes, and we can drag them in. And we can open the equipment wheel. Right. All right. So the equipment wheel. Is it? Well, that's tap. All right. So if we go to the inventory, put this on nine, and a little piece of bread on eight. Close this up. Use the wheel. Well, there it is. Water and bread. And apparently he ate some bread. Right. Where is our bed? See on the map. Resting area. Stables. Storage. And trader. Let's go to the storage. Can we mark on the map? No, we can zoom out. And it's quite a big map. And this is going to be the castle, I think. Small other village, well, our town, and well, that's it for the moment. I know there are bandits over here, so we should be careful. That's our inventory. So let's go to green. Hello, did I see something flashy? Right, hydration. Well, we can. Ooh, manage your village. Requires one empty bottle. Yes, we have an empty bottle. Let's craft that. So we will have three bottles of water. Very well. What do we have here? Open village storage. Well, let's drop everything up. Because they will need it more than I, don't I? Rotten apple. Well, that's for them. I'm going to take the normal apple. Cheese is for them. Meat and wine. 
we have water and that should be sufficient and let's put the repair tools in there as well because i think we need the materials dull hatchet and a pickaxe so i already think we can use some materials to gather things but first let's go to the resting area so this is the horse monster strange light coming from here so i think this is our resting area let's go up let's go down all the way around so we have passed through here and i haven't looted this one yet so let's start picking everything up well we already got a hatchet and uh something something else workbench armory so it seems woohoo the owl now sleeping is important naturally not only does it let you save the game but it restores your health as well look out for spots marked by owls and lanterns to find places of rest <laughs> napping an owl right sure <laughs> why not so let's see loot well food meat and cheese sure why not that's the bed more loot wood flour and more cheese wonderful so let's take a nap since that is the quest oh no let's go back we need to drink the water first so let's drink a little bit of water one full and let's have a nap now i can save so let's save this as the y and t the youtube sure let's go so we are going back to brother duck to have a talk now first i want to equip something else the hatchet And how we do we put it away? Ooh, stones. Ah, the morning breeze sure is wonderful today. And look at yourself, friend. A night's sleep has really done you a favor. Are you fully awake yet, though? I see your trusty bow is missing. I didn't forget it, Brother Tuck. And it hurts me to say that, but I've lost it on my way home. And Lady Marion as well, as I can't seem to find her. Is that so? In that case, get up and work the axe, for you are in need of a new bow. The wood should so we be got good a blueprint. the stave and the arrows. An effortless task for a man like you, eh? You could probably buy one from a merchant, but since we are in a dire need of a bowman, you can have the bowstring I have been carrying around. And do not worry about our Lady Marion, for she is off to forage for herbs. Wonderful. Come back to me after you have finished crafting your new friend, because I have a few ideas for tasks I could assign you to. So, let's see. Let's take a look on the map. So, they want me to gather wood. So, let's follow the yellow marker. not chopping wood ah they are marked with green so let's start chopping oh hello uh, tools repairs yes we know 
tools break. Oh, we are damaging the tree with sevens and sixes, so. Alright, so we got. We got wood, we got wood. 11 wood, wonderful. Keep on smashing. All right, the crafting. All right, so we can make some things right away. And for others, we need a specific workbench. Well, that's not a surprise. No, don't start drinking, you half idiot. Inventory. How do we craft? Uh, over there, right. So let's craft one bow. And we will need some arrows. So let's craft 10 so we have 40 arrows. Wonderful. Well, that's the skill tree. We already knew that. That's the map. Our skill tree. So iron stomach. I know we are going to mine in the near future. So let's do that first. That's uh, mining. Stamina. More wood collecting. Uh, anyway, building is that focus, 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 pain resistance. So this is the getting stronger physical. This is uh, strength and sword damage. Uh, this is running at, so agility. And this is more mining, gathering things. Right, so let's see. Higher strain, sure, why not? Bow damage, damage plus five, sure. Let's keep it with that. So we have the basics of everything ready to go. Wonderful. Now I want to collect a little bit more wood. Let's go. Let's kill some trees. All right, one more tree, and then we would have enough wood, don't you think? So another 20 experience, wonderful. How oh, nice. Now, Fryer Tuck, where are you? So once we equip the bow, we get a little bit zoomed in. Do we have any deers running around here? Not yet. All right. Would you look at that? I would say that bow seems prettier than your old one. <laughs> no offense to your old companion, of course. None taken. I can't say how comfortable it feels to have one on me again. God has been kind to you, Robin. So why not repay him with some good deeds for the community? Silwich could use your help. You see, dear Robin, hunting without a skilled bowman left us short on meat. Would I be wrong to assume that taking on some deer should not be too much of a challenge for you today? Right, so we get the introduction to hunting. 
wonderful so let's take a look on the map where can we hunt that well that's a bigger trip to do to run so let's get going question is can we swim <laughs> don't want to drown right let's take a look at the map where are we so right in front of us There he is. I see him running. Where did he go? Told you so. Let's go the other way. And let's hope we find there a deer or so standing still. Or was that the only deer we could find? Oh, there he is. Well, that was easy. One shot, one kill. Yep, that's how we do it. So we need... 30 meat. Woo. Let's uh, have a small look around. Oh, bandit camp over there. Can we not equip the arrow anymore? No, we have to shoot it off? Really? Alright, meat in the inventory. Five. Now, then gather meat in the storage so we need to drop it off right so over there we have a bandit camp platform let's have a small look how bandits look in this game a little bit upon the hill so that's smart from them yeah, right. Bandits. Yes, I know. Really? The deer don't see me, but they do. Oh, yeah, I know. Bugger off. Ah, there he is. You will drop the shield. Do you have anything for me? Do you have anything for me? No. Oh, there it is. There is a bad guy somewhere, shooting arrows. Contact. Not 
moving around bloody hell i was shooting first really how the hell did he get to be a sniper like that she's thank you really where Bastard. Shooting from behind the defense. The position. Bastard. Damn, he's a sturdy one. Only 15 arrows left, really? Any more bandits? I'm not in the mood. Let's pick up the meat. Let's get the coins. Let's see. Yeah, we are eating. Yeah, fine. Let's open up the inventory. Cook meat. Well, number eight. Can we make some arrows? Yep, we can craft 20 more. Question is, how do we treat ourselves? So we have found a little bit of food. Fireplace, let's have a look. No, we are not going to cook it. I do want to see what, what gear the archer had. Well, wood, iron ore, wonderful, an apple. Apple day keeps the doctor away, nevertheless, so. More wood, stone, salt, and other chicken. And bread. Really? How the hell do we get up there? So the body is lost. Yeah, we can't climb. Because E doesn't do anything. Right. So we can't get our loot from up here. Alright, whatever. Let's continue hunting. We only have 10 meats so we need a few more animals now I, i'm going to skip this simply because well might be not the most interesting thing and i want to keep the content a little bit short so i want to show more of than i would otherwise be able to so see you when i have collected the 30 meat so just dropped off the meat let's have a look if we can change gear yeah so now we are gear on us and let's have a quick talk with Duck. i see you are back alive and well hopefully you are bringing good news along with you were you able to hunt down some deer of course we did. it's almost like you're forgetting who you're talking to brother tuck here it is and it's still warm to the touch i only hope it's enough for the community by the grace, yes. And now that our people will not have to worry about food, they can finally get to work properly. Mm. If we want to be effective, we, and by that I mean you, need to gather more resources for the village's expansion as soon as possible. Of course. Sounds like another invigorating task. What would you like me to fetch? Just some rocks. 
For the furnace, I have got a blueprint of, my friend. We need something to smelt the iron ore into ingots if we want to have good tools. So be it then. I will be back when I have enough. Let us get some rest first before we go any further. Quick run in the house. So we need a little bit more stone for the rest. We have everything we need. So that's that's a good thing. Right, so save. Can we override this? Save. Yes, we can. Right. So we healed up. We are thirsty and hungry. So let's see. Let's drink. And we need to eat something. But first, for the things first, let's craft three bottles of water. Right. Let's equip it. And let's go empty handed. Whoa. There went the camera. So let's take a quick look on the map. That's wood, that's stone, wood, wood, and stone. So we need to go through here. Can we mark? No, we cannot mark. So let's continue to the north. West, south, west. So to there. Or we just pick up some stones. Thirty-six stones. Well, that's enough. No need to go out. So let's drop off the stones. Seventy-five. Build the furnace. So, where do we build? Well, manage your village and welcome to the building part of this game. So they want us to build the furnace. So let's place it. And as you can see, it's red can turn it around but wasn't there a way to yep we could clear the area you move around with the mouse and let's build ourselves the little furnace or not what's the problem thirty wood we have enough wood stones and we have we need fifteen food we have thirty seven so we have more than enough or we build the fireplace but I want to build the furnace let me guess fireplace first Oh, what's so? Oh, we need to cut those little threes as well. Okay, yeah. And now, oh, now we can build. So we can build like so. Let's build this on the edge, like so. And for the furnace, we need more stone. So let's have a look while they are building this. So we clear this all out. They are building and they're building very quickly. So how fun is that? Let's collect some more stone. Let's talk to Friar Tuck. Nope. Of Brother Tuck. No, 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 no. We are going to collect a little bit more material, so I'll see you right away with Fire Tuck when I have more than enough materials to build the next thing. See you in a sec, ladies and gentlemen. So I took uh, a couple of minutes uh, for uh, hunting, gathering a little bit more wood and stones. So we are ready now to talk to Brother Tuck. Finally, Silvich has its own furnace. Imagine all the tools you could make with its help. However... Aren't we lacking a smithy to make them? 
Precisely, dear Robin. I did not want to put too much work on your back at once, but it is a necessity. Please take this pickaxe because we are going to need oars for that. Come back when you have enough. Let's have a look. We need. Ooh. We have plenty of food now. We have enough stones, we have enough wood. But we need iron ingots, so let's see. Can we make those iron ingots from the inventory or do we need to pick it up? Let's have a look. Yep, we need wood and iron ore to make that. And apparently we make bread over here, so... Right. We need 10 wood. And 10 iron. So, iron ore. Can we split the stack? 15. Well, okay. 15, 21. 7 and 8. 3 and 4. 4 and 4. 2, 8, 10. Let's rub that off. Just keep 11 with this. You know what? Combine, split. We have plenty of materials. That's all what we needed, so let's see. We need iron ingots. Oh bloody hell. We need two of everything, so let's make five. So we need 20. I miss red, I read one on one. So we got five ingots. Well, let's drop them off. Let's run quickly. So, ten wood. And then more iron. Let's put those iron bars already in. Iron ingots. It's hanging very well, thank you. So again, five more pieces. Right. Drop them off. Let's see what our brother Tuck has to say. There we go. Build blacksmith. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see, blacksmith. Let's turn that around as well. Or maybe we should build it right over here. Or can we? Oh, ho, ho, yeah. We can clear this out as well. So the furnace and the blacksmith should go together. Like so. Food is used very, very quickly. Now, let's talk again to Tuck. It is a day of sorrow indeed. Our beloved grandmother Matilda fell victim to a beastly bear. For the good of our people, please kill it before it causes another such tragedy. I can't believe it. I'll get to it right away. Do you know where I could likely find that bear? It should still be lurking around our dear Matilda's house. Somewhere around Westford. Maybe sitting in its den. What a foul creature. I need to warn you though, that bear is infamously large. Even with your commendable hunting skills, a barrage of arrows will not be enough to put it down. Yes. We do have a blacksmith now, so maybe you could get a sword. Hopefully a sword will be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So, probably not. We need to craft a sword. Let's have a look. What do we need for crafting a sword? 
Well, how does this work? Ah, so we need the sword. We need sulfur, iron ingot, and wood. And for the long sword, we need silver as well. We don't have silver, so. Let's see for the short sword. We need five iron bars and five wood and three sulfur. I think we have the sulfur. Let's have a quick look. Really, it doesn't take. Nope, we don't have enough silver. So I'm off hunting uh, a bit more stones, mining a little bit more stones, and uh, we'll be fun and that we would be able to rearrange five ingots will be possible but i'm going to do this off screen as well so i see you when i have the needed materials all right so i collected all the materials we needed sulfur the iron bars and the wood sulfur was a bit hard to find but i, I had to buy it in the end from a local shopkeeper Sold some uh, unwanted uh, apples and so on, so that we had enough money. So let's craft ourselves a short sword. Wonderful. To, our, to bear arms, the bow is a reliable friend. But the close combat, it's the blade, of course. So attack is left mouse and uh, blocking is right. All right, good to know. So let's equip that on number four. And now we need to kill the bear. But where is the bear? <laughs> Holy crap, that's a long run. I'm going to save you guys that long run. I'm going to uh, pick up the pace once we are in Westford. Oh, the, oh no 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 we can do a fast travel to westford by using the stable so let us find the stable that's the other side let's see right the art of trade yes they're willing to buy and sell yes many things right right we can buy and sell share are you willing to buy some axes? Maybe we can sell off some of those axes we do not need. Let's have a quick look. He's not interested in buying this. Why? Alright, so we can buy quite a lot of things over here. Sulfur apparently also. Repair tools. Well, yeah, but nothing actually we want to get rid of or buy us ourselves. Let's craft a little bit more of water. We have food, water at the ready. Drop off the axe and the pickaxe. And the horseman is this way. So fast raffle is available through stable masters. Let's go to Westfold. 10 coins. That's a reasonable price. So we arrive in Westfold. So our trip is a little bit shorter. So. What do we want? We want the bow. And how fast do we actually run? Quite okay, so when we reach the water, we are near the bear, so alright. Ooh, well that's a bloody trail. It's misty. That's a bad cab. There should be somewhere over here. 
Right, checkpoint updated. So that means it's a difficult bear. Have a look see. Right. Look for the lair of the bear. Oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Bear. One damage. Uh, Mr. Bear. One damage. So I don't think we are going to snipe him out. Well, let's use as much arrows that we can. In the arse. <laughs> no damage, no damage. Alright. Let's have a look. Let's go for the sword. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, really? Holy hell, that's a big bear. That's an, that it isn't. Oh, bloody hell, that isn't a bear. That's something entirely different than a bear. Bloody hell. Right, so. What, it's stuck? Oh, right, so dodge is not really a thing. Oh, here we can. <laughs> Parrying isn't either. Oh, really? I think I'm going to run. Run, you bloody bastard. Run! So, can we do first aid or something? If we eat, do we heal? left mouse button to eat but eating is not really a problem let's drink let's get our sword back well that bloody bear is quite dangerous so let's see oh back smash smash Let's use the rocks to our defense. Back. Oh, this is a heavy find. But it's definitely stuck in here. So, oh, smash. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Get out, get out, get out. Question is, do we actually hurt him? Or does he get re his health back? Because really, this is uh, crazy, isn't it? Yeah, he gets his health back. Right, so I think we are going to have a nap. There, we can have a nap right over there, so... Yeah, I'm going to try it uh, again tomorrow. So here we are. We are back at the bear's camp. Old lair. Ooh, fireplace. Ooh, we can cook. This counts as a fireplace. Right, let's see. Bear. Where is the bear? So we have to pass this and find the bloody bear. Right, let's go. Oh, come on. That's dodging. 
Come on, keep on dodging. Keep on dodging. Go, go, go! Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, this is not impossible. And, uh... We are about to die. Yes, we died. So, well, I think this is a good way to end uh, my... Uh, let's have a look at... I died. I failed once more. It's it's a trend on this channel. So, right. Anyway, if this is something for you, you might want to keep an eye on it. It's still in early access. But uh, I had fun with this one. I don't know you would have fun too. So anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another episode. Bye!